Hello guys. I just decided last minute, AKA five seconds ago, that I'm gonna vlog today. So I actually vlogged this entire week because I have a few appointments and things. So hi guys. I am heading to an emergency wedding dress fitting. So my friend Hope, who is an absolute angel, contacted the designer that I got my dress from and she basically asked them to help me and they emailed me and I have an appointment today and I'm bringing Michelle and Kelsey just for backup because God knows that I can't fucking speak up on my own. Like, let's just be honest. Let's just be fucking for real. Usually I would have John come, but obviously this is an appointment that he cannot come to. So I just did my makeup. I did like a little bit of a heavier beat than I was intending, but I used the YSL new foundation, like the NU, not like N-E-W. And I love that for like a light to medium. I just, you know, added a lot more stuff on top. So it ended up being a little bit more beat than I wanted it to be because I kind of didn't want to have like a heavy makeup in case I touched my face and then I touched the dress. Like that's a no, no. I also like do not match my body because I don't have self tanner on, which is another thing that I didn't want to do. If you are not caught up on the wedding dress drama, basically when I went in for my dress fitting last month, there was some alarming things going on with my dress and i was only focusing on this one thing because it was like front front and center and it would just like was it would like the only word that i can use is alarming and so i focused on that at the appointment and then like the more people that i was showing they were like well this is wrong and this is wrong and this isn't the same and this isn't the same the proportions here are way off and then i started like spiraling because i'm like oh my god like people were telling me people legitimately were telling me that they were not even the same dress they were like like this is not the same dress and i'm like wow there is way more wrong with my dress than i initially thought so my friend hope has a contact at the designer that i got it from and she reached out to them and was like hey like can you please help her like sh like stuff's going wrong with the dress and they dm'd me and i set up an appointment basically the day after i got back from the bachelorette and now we are going there today so they called me last night at like 6 p.m and they were like hey blake i just want to let you know that we're going to have your dress like opened up and in a few pieces when you get here tomorrow so don't be alarmed i'm alarmed i'm already i'm already nervous so kelsey and michelle are both coming with me because we need a little bit of backbone because you know i don't have any but yeah obviously i can't show you the dress in this video but soon guys, the wedding is very, very soon. It's like two months away, I think. Less than, less than two months away. So yeah, come along and hopefully we can get some answers. So these are our outfits. I'm wearing just like a plain We're white really tee, a jacket, some pants and some sambas. <laughs> Do we hang out a lot or what? <gasps> I'm dead. Okay guys, we are about to be here. Also, I feel like my camera is like really zoomed in right now, but I don't know why. We're about to be here and we're going to stand up for ourselves. I'm going to stand up for Blake. Yeah. And then Kelsey's gonna stand up for you. <laughs> okay, we're about to be here. Guys, literal sigh ever. We have oh. the skin tuckers right here, yeah. and they really made the appointment better because I wouldn't have ever asked questions that they asked. I was like, we're being very fucking clear today. You no, know, like you were crystal clear. I just, yeah. We had and to be. guys, I just want to let you guys know that we were not crazy. I want and, a name tag that says Skin Tucker. Yeah, and <laughs> they're quite literally making me a new dress. A new a dress new, because that's how skirt. messed up it was. Uh -huh. We need to make a new skirt. Uh -huh. A new whole, rush make a, whole, a new mm -hmm. skirt. The rush only make, part that's getting kept is the, the, is the, is the top. Is the corset. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What is that called? The top half of the The top? Or, yeah, just like the top. Yeah. Yeah. The only part that's being kept is the top because the rest of it was so, so bad. Yeah, so bad. Th and and there didn't was so match. much extra fabric coming out of her literal butthole. Mm -hmm. Literal and, butthole. Yep. And mm -hmm. everyone agreed and I'm just, and they were not gaslighty at all. I was kind of nervous getting going into it and being like, what am I going to say? Like, blah, blah, blah. And they were so... They validated every single everything. one of your concerns. They were like, no, this doesn't look good. Yeah. That that is way too long. And they, they were like, so thorough. Granted, like, mm -hmm. they weren't the one that made the dress. Yeah. So, like, it was, they, mm -hmm. like, they weren't kind of, like, on the line for it. You right. know, they weren't yeah. like, oh, yeah, by the way, I sewed this way too high. Yeah. Like, they just got the dress delivered to them. Because it and, gets made mm -hmm. in 
but they were like, yeah, no, yeah. She was mm -hmm. like, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is way too much fabric, this is so wrong. And I was like, wow, mm -hmm. thank you for validating me. Yeah. Thank you, like thank my you therapist for... is gonna be so happy. <laughs> thank you for not making me think I was crazy. No, I know, I know, I know. So, You guys, anyway. we were walking out and Blake literally goes, <sighs> and the women there was like, I felt that sigh of relief in my soul. <laughs> literally. But yeah, now we are happy and we're gonna go get a celebratory lunch because yes. we, we need it and we earned it. Yes. Michelle's we're so out. proud of you. <laughs> we're so proud of you for, for speaking your voice, oh, your mind. Let you guys spoke my mind to you guys. <laughs> yeah. I still probably wouldn't have known some of the things though because it's also hard because like I can't see what's in the back. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, like I, like, I, I couldn't tell about, what you guys like, were talking about because I was like, I can't see. Even well, from the why... photos that you showed me was hard. Mm -hmm. Like seeing it in person, I was like, Blake, when you originally X, Y, and like... Z are the exact issues that we're mm -hmm. having here. What, you were like, I when you were debating like making that part shorter, and I was like, um, but what about the butthole? What's that gonna do to the butthole? Uh -huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. We had multiple people speak up, so it's amazing. But all good things, and this is just your sign to speak up because like, <laughs> even if the first person gaslights you, um, just speak up again because yeah. that person doesn't know shit. <laughs> we got I'm strawberry so matchas excited. in from Kelsey's recommendation. Um, Alfred tea. Oh, well, Not yeah. Alfred coffee though, Alfred tea only. Mm. Oh, strawberry match. It's so good, I'm so excited. Okay. Taste test. Taste test. I love it. It's like strawberry, like. I'm, I'm but like, it's like subtle. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. not like overwhelming. Why? I don't know. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> Don't show them my strawberry. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're so cute. They're really cute. Wait. Wait. Where's the flakies? Oh, sorry, I don't we know. Came to, <laughs> we came sorry. to John and Vinny's because we needed some fuel. We really did. <laughs> we need the fuel always. The really is bad, baby. Oh. If you don't dance while you're eating your food, it's not Do you really like that? It's not good, and you can't convince me that it is. Hello, guys. So, we are on our way to Beverly Hills because today is the day that I am going to see Dr. Tolly for my final check-in for my neck lift. It's been, I believe, like almost eight months to the day and I think I'm like 95% healed. Like, sometimes I do wake up and I'm just like a little bit puffy, but for the most part, this is the result and we're gonna take like after photos. I really cannot even like, look at my before photos because it's just like so shocking because I didn't see myself exactly like that before but now I'm just like I look in the mirror and I'm just like so happy we're gonna do the after photos and yeah very excited obviously I'm gonna have makeup on right now because I was shooting before this and I really didn't have time to like wash my face so the pictures the before pictures aren't going to have makeup on because that was like five seconds before surgery but you get the gist So I think it's been eight months. Yeah. Almost exactly. Oh man. Burn them. Burn them. <laughs> it is like uh, substantial. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it is what it is, you know? Mm -hmm. but, but look at the chin. I mean, I can see that, yeah. Look at the chin I know. out here pulled back. And that's with zero chin implant. Yeah. Every other person would have said. No and no lipo. Every other person would have said to do a chin implant. Mm -hmm. That would have made you look like that direction. Jay Leno. Yeah, but not have been good. We love Jay Leno. Not no, Jay Leno was not for you. Just no chin. Look at that. Yeah. All the way around. And see, see your earlobe is just starting to come down. Yeah. Now it's a piece. <laughs> see? You see yeah. how it's just starting to pull down with the neck? Why was it doing that? Because when, when, uh, when the neck, no, what? when the neck slopes over time and it droops down, the ear starts getting pulled with it. Mm. So that was getting pulled with it. Now it's this happy little, you see? Yeah, like a little happy face. It's a happy face and it's not getting pulled. And look at the definition there, mm -hmm. which is, not even there. It, I, it 
It's not existent. That's that whole massoy crevasse thing, which is what I'm talking about. Like mm -hmm. that. And that's what it's that's unreal. Happening. That's no volume addition. Everything just hugs your natural architecture. So mm -hmm. your face was tiny, stays tiny. And then you see that ear lip? Yeah. Stressing. There's literally no stress on no that. No stress. Ear. It's just chilling. Like absolutely no stress. People are people say that I got chin or not chin, um, cheek filler. I know. And I'm like, <laughs> you think I'm gonna get a neck lift and just not admit to cheek filler? Yeah. Like what <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. That no, looks good, but your definition around the cheek does look better from the profound. Mm-hmm. So for sure. The profound will tighten that skin up a little tiny tiny bit. Yeah. What do we if you were gonna grade yourself, like what would you give this? Oh, this is I mean you, if I grade myself with like humility, it's a ten. Okay. <laughs> it's a ten out of ten. It's a ten out of ten. Yeah, it's exactly what I would want. And it's perfect. And even the so here's the other thing. Look at the roundness. I, I hated the roundness. Of the chin. You mm -hmm. see that? How it's round. It was like a little bu bubble. Yeah, now it's mm. Mm -hmm. It's like that, a Nike that. swoosh. Exactly. Let's <laughs> do it, you know. <laughs> Yeah. All right, wow. so admiring and the gels are gone, even though nothing was done to the gels. So there's a whole group of surgeons who think that the gel is made of fat, even though it's face. Okay. And even though they're doctors. Even though they're doctors. Mm -hmm. They think it's made of fat. So they keep talking about liposuctioning fat. And then I show them pictures like this and they just don't get it. I didn't touch the gel. Mm -hmm. I didn't touch it. I just took the weight off of it and the gel went back up. Wow. Yeah. So did, did the profound help that at all? A little bit, a okay. little bit, but even if I did it without the profound, that jaw would have gone back up. Okay. So the jaw gets pulled down, it's the face pulling down, drooping, and then the neck is taking it down with it. If you take the neck back up, the weight comes off the jaw, or if you ever lift the face, the weight comes off the jaw. Yeah. So you just take the weight off of it. That's all you have to do and it goes away. Okay. Everyone wow. Happy? No, I would like a refund, please. <laughs> and this is what people don't understand about neck tightening or neck lifting is that it's not about how hard you pull. Everybody always tries to figure out how to get rid of fat, how to put in chin implants, how to pull as tight as they can. It's not about that. It's about getting that little platysma muscle that's sitting here, and you just go up a little, and you push it in, and that's all. And that rejuvenates this entire thing, because if you see the whole idea, and sorry if I choke you, but this is like to choke somebody. That's the whole idea, is to go push everything in like this. And that's what this kind of lift does. It brings everything in, whereas before it was just kind of going outwards like that and sloping down. So you don't need to bring someone's chin out in this direction. All you do is pull everything back this way just to touch, push it in, and push it up. And it's the movement that recreates everything. It's not about how hard you pull. If you try to just pull hard and yank everything back, they're just going to look pulled. Nothing ever happens positively out of that. So you just go up a little and a little, and it's really small movement. Wow. Yeah, I used to have a face neck, as you yes. used to say. <laughs> yeah, that, now there's no more face neck. Yeah, no. Yeah, now you're a, a lovely lollipop head like the rest of us. No, I'm yeah. not a face neck. Mine's bad, so I'm next. Hmm. Hi. Getting a little puppy cut today, Dink. Puppy cut with the professional. Penelope was panting on our walk today, so she's getting a little cut. Ooh, maybe my Stanley could be a tripod. Yesterday was my last check-in with Dr. Tolly. He said everything looks amazing. I was actually really surprised when he said that my like insides are probably only 50% healed, which is crazy. He said my outsides are like, what did he say, like 95, 100 or something like that? Yeah. Um, he was like, it's not gonna get any better than this. Um, but will change still. yeah, and I'm just really happy and he that he was happy and I think that he was just like I think he was like pretty impressed with himself Yeah, he was, very, very he was just like damn that's like that is the best that it could possibly look so I did get a shot in the back of my ear Which is where my scars are if I even tried to show you guys my scars like I it doesn't look any different than a back of an ear So it wouldn't really be very helpful but he said that it was just like a little bit thick scar tissue. So he injected it with something I don't even know. And then my ear was itchy for like the whole rest of the day. Yeah, it didn't hurt at all. And he said all my scars feel really good. And yeah. Now Penelope is getting a little poopy cut. 
because she was panting outside. You did a really good job on the walk today, Dink. She but, did a really good job. But you were panting. She was like, yeah, I was panting because I was doing a good job walking. And now I'm getting punished. Yep. And now I'm getting punished. Well, it's, it's about to be summer, Dink. Now I'm getting punished. Um, we do not bring, we don't bring Penelope to the groomer because we okay. just, yeah, we just were like, the, at first we were like, let's just like try it way back when. We were like, let's just try to groom her on our own. Like, we'll just see if she's bad and if she's not, then maybe we can groom her ourselves. And she's so good. Like, she just sits there. Like, we don't even have to hold her. She's so good. And the only thing that she's a little finicky with are her nails because she has really long, like, um, not nail beds, but like a bloodline. What? Nerve. Yeah, like a nerve bloodline. Um, and so we do get, we do take her somewhere to get her nails cut. She's looking at me like, mom. I don't even think she would care if I cut her nails, but I'm too nervous. It was, to do it, the, it was it was the first pretty. time. Yeah, it was the first time we cut her nails, and she bled, and we were like, fuck. And so we just were like, no. Also, I just had my breakfast, piece of toast, uh, like a fourth of an avocado, and two eggs. It was delicious. Um, I was really in the mood for a smoothie, but I think I'm gonna do that for lunch because we're gonna be over in Beverly Hills again today because I'm getting a under eye peel, which is like the last like invasive thing that I'm gonna be doing for the wedding because the wedding's in like six or seven weeks or so. And since we're gonna be in Beverly Hills, I'm gonna get a smoothie at Erwan because I haven't had one in a while and I've been craving one. So, yep, that's all. The plan was to not have makeup on because I know that I'm just gonna have to wash it off when I get there But I had to film something and Now we're going early because I I once I put the I wanted the air smoothie in my brain It wasn't gonna leave and you know what? That's just the type of person I am But also it's been weeks. I'm still craving the toll house ice cream sandwich Whatever the thing is you guys know what it is like it's right here. I'll put a picture. I'm still craving it. I craved it today after I had breakfast and I was like, I know that this is not going to go away. So I had half of it, but it kind of made my belly hurt a little bit. I'm hoping that it made my belly hurt enough that I'm not going to crave them anymore because I have like, I have like at least three a week. Also, the Sephora sale is starting next week and I didn't plan very well because I'm gonna have my under eyes like pretty fucked up so I'm not gonna be able to make like a full YouTube video on like my suggestions but if you go to TikTok I'll probably upload some stuff over there because it's easier to get away with an entire scar face basically up on my eyes. I got the Hailey Bieber smoothie. I kind of like forgot what all the smoothies were called so Did I just you get went, the wrong one. Oh! I wouldn't say I got the wrong one. Um, I wouldn't say I got the wrong one because I do love the Hailey Bieber smoothie, but I feel like I wanted to try a different, like, new one, but I couldn't remember what it was called, so. so here we are with the China Street. I like this one, but HB, I like this one. HBS. HBS, baby. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. Hey, good. How are you? So much. We, we're, like, exclusively She's dating at this point. <laughs> But then I didn't see you for a while. I know. How are you? Long. This is Taylor. Hi. Hi. I think we saw you Good yesterday. Yeah. You're in surgery, right? So I was like, I'm getting my under eyes glazed off. Okay, so I'm not doing the 35 on you. What does that mean? Uh, the that's what I use. Oh, that's what I need on you. Yeah. Okay. What I don't want to happen is long-term hyperemia, which is just redness. Okay. No, no, no. No. No, no, no. No redness. So we're just gonna do a 20%. is day two of the peel. I just woke up, so I haven't like washed my face or put my Aquaphor on, but we are not peeling yet. But I think that we're gonna start peeling probably in the next like two days.
I wanna give you guys a final update on my TCA peel for my under eye wrinkles. I finished peeling yesterday, which was Monday. I got the procedure on Thursday. Last time it took me about six days. I think this time it took me four. I think that it had to do with the percentage of TCA that we used, we only used 20, so I think that I peeled a little bit quicker. But I'm gonna do a little zoom in of my eye. My wrinkles are definitely less visible, I think. And I am very happy. I'm a little bit puffy on this side. This side did hurt a little bit more when I got it done, but I'm a little bit more puffy on this side and I can still see that I'm a little bit red right here. But overall, I love it. And I just ordered cupcakes. Well, actually, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I ordered sandwiches. I ordered sandwiches because I saw someone on TikTok. You know, I should have known from the beginning that also don't come for me with for my hair right now. I am washing it tonight and I just put sunblock on so I can't really touch my hair because then my extensions will turn orange. So that's this is what we're dealing with. But I saw this TikTok and the girl was like, these are the best sandwiches in LA, like blah, blah, blah. I, I trusted her and you know what? I shouldn't have. It only had 300 likes, so that was probably like my first, like that was probably my first red flag. But we ordered them. We spent like $45 on them, on two sandwiches, guys. Sandwiches. And one was just straight veggie, and the other one was an impossible meatball sub. And the first one, the impossible meatball sub, I thought was like I, I had one bite, and I was like, no. Um, so I give that one a one or a two. And then the veggie one, I feel like they didn't put, it was just all soft things. And I feel like I'm a texture person. Like I need like a little bit of like crunch here or there. Like there was, there was no tomato on it, which I thought that they said there was. And I wish that there was like banana peppers or like pickles or like a crunchy lettuce or something. None of that was on there. Anyway, I digress. So I'm still a little bit hungry. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna move on to something sweet because I feel like that's not gonna like disappoint me, famous last words, but we just ordered four cupcakes from Suzy Cakes. What, babe? What? He's hysterically laughing right now. What? Did I just jinx it? Let's see. Did I just jinx it? Let's see. So I got chocolate, chocolate vanilla, um, vanilla with pink frosting, and then um, a red velvet. A very nice surprise, the icing goes all the way down through instead of just on the top. Okay, okay, we're gonna, do, we're gonna try it out. First one, here we go. Mm, okay, it's not bad. It's a little tiny bit dry. I mean, it's kind of giving dry. I'm not saying that they're bad. Not normally a red velvet color. I feel like this is a little bit, this is like almost, this is, is if this is a fucking vanilla cupcake with red food dye, they're getting a call from me. They're getting a call. All right, let's just hope. Please don't hurt my feelings. Please don't let me down. So you like none of these so far? Mm, no, I did like the, I liked the first two. The last one I didn't really like, the chocolate on chocolate. Bro, that's a vanilla cupcake that they dyed. The icing is the best though because it's the cream cheese uh, icing. But that's not, that's not a red velvet cupcake. Like a 7.5 or eight. I give this one like an 8.5. The chocolate I give maybe like a five. And then the red velvet, I did still really like it. So I'm gonna give it an eight, but I don't believe, I'm, I don't believe that it's a true red velvet cupcake. So, I mean, I still think that's good. I mean, I gave the sandwiches a two, babe. I give the sandwiches a two. So that's the review, guys. I'm starting to get a little bit of cramps, which means 
Oh, I'm gonna get my period. Um, all right, guys, we, it's Sunday, and we are heading to Erewhon because I really want John to try the sushi sandwich. I don't even like sushi like that, so I'll probably have like one bite. I'm, I just know that I probably won't like it, but I will have a bite to just try it. And he's gonna try it though, because everyone's saying it's a 10 out of 10, and we know how that goes. We've oh, been played one too a, many times. Well, I already know it's cold rice, so that already is not gonna be appetizing. Okay, okay, well, don't be negative, Nancy. And. I think the best it could possibly be is a five out of 10. Okay. Also, Absolutely. update on my eyeballs. This is what we're looking like. I don't know what day it is. It's Sunday, I got it done on Thursday, so however long that is. Um, I think I'll probably start peeling tomorrow, but I am gonna wear sunglasses the entire time in Erewhon because it kind of looks like I got punched in the face. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it home. The sushi, the sushi sandwich, uh, I did drop it in the car, but it's, it's fine, she's fine. We were talking about the price as well. Like, yeah, $21 for this. Even if it's really, really good, I still think that that's like a lot of money. We think that it should be priced around like 15 or $16. Without even tasting it, we think it should be about 15, 16. Um, okay, so hold on. We are not gonna lie. We're not gonna gaslight gatekeep a boss. Number one, this should be $16. Yeah. All right, guys. Mm. All righty. Like, there's no way that I'm not gonna put. Looks like I have had the um, buffalo cauliflower before. I love it, but I haven't had the rice balls with the sweet and sour sauce or the mac and cheese. And we have never gotten the, sam the sushi sandwich before. Also, I kind of thought maybe, not that I, the sushi sandwich would be hot, but I thought that it would be like in the, the hot section, kind of, and you order it like a sandwich, but it was in like the cold section where the sushi is, which honestly makes sense, but I don't know why I thought it would be. It definitely doesn't taste bad, but it's nothing special. Yeah. It's cold rice. It's, it's like a latka of rice on spicy tuna and crab. So it's, and it's not- And salmon. And salmon. Salmon. Mm -hmm. Oh, and salmon. So they just basically made an everything roll mm -hmm. and put it in a sandwich, so it can't be that bad. But would I go back and pay $20 for it again? No. Would you pay 15 for it again? No, I'd probably pay 12. Okay. Okay. The, all right. Like get... everything comes out, like that's not cool. That's the, if it was a burrito, everything wouldn't come out. Mm-hmm. Like a sushi burrito? Mm-hmm. But if it was so, at a party and it was free, you'd obviously eat it. Yeah, but it also seems like it, what? it has a lot of like oil in it. No, oh, okay. It's not like healthy. The rice ball, I'm gonna give this, oh wait, it's a rating out of 10. Okay, this is a six. I give the rice balls a seven. I think they were a little bit How? more. I think they were a little bit more crunchy, but you, put it, but you put them in the microwave. They were a little bit more Those crunchy. are a little bit better than mm -hmm. I thought though, yeah. flavor wise. Yeah, like I would say like a seven. But it's a freaking rice, it's a rice ball. I mean, we're not saying that it's a. It's hard. So I'm gonna say a rice ball gets a uh, five. I've Less never, than that. I've never had these. Yeah, this is better oh, than do that. Do you want the ranch? No. Sweetheart. Um, the the like the sauce is like baked on, so mm -hmm. it's like part of it. So I probably give those like a four. A four? Babe, I've had so much better buffalo cauliflower. Where? Man. I can make better buffalo cauliflower. Then make it. I can. I, I it's not that hard to make it. I would say a four. Buffalo cauliflower is like an eight point five for me. We are trying the mac and cheese now. Mac and cheese, if you like white mac and cheese, that's a little bit like... Um, creamy? Like, yeah, creamy. Then like heavy. Uh-huh. It's heavy, it's heavy cheese. I would say mac and cheese wise though, that's probably a five. Okay, I haven't tried it yet, so. I'm not like blown away. The best thing so far was the rice ball. That's fucking saying something. <laughs> 
Like it shouldn't, that shouldn't be the best I like, thing. I, I like ketchup on my, but I'm not gonna put a lot, like I'm just gonna dab it. What? I don't like this much stuff going on in my mac and That's cheese. That's what I'm saying, it's like really heavy. It's, it's thick. really, really heavy. Like it is like, but like, I like, just want my cheese to cover my mac and it's that's It's not really like it. flavorful though. Either. No, it's, it's not. like It's like very much white cheese. Like mm -hmm. that flavorless, like just creamy cheese. It's too shit. much cheese to, to, to um, but like it's we not, have like four noodles. But it's not the white cheese, it's like that. It's creamy cheese versus like melted cheese. Yeah, no, no. So what did I give this? You gave that a five. Yeah, this is a six, this is a five, that's a two. <gasps> and this is I like won't, a, I won't, this is I a don't three. understand the slander for that. Babe, you think that is better than this? This is better than that. <gasps> Babe, that's like the most basic thing. This is the most basic thing you could ever so don't eat it, don't No, eat I wanna it. try no. one. I wanna try one more, just to see. That's exactly what you always do. I'm gonna try one more. I hate this. Like maybe if they drizzled sauce on top. What sauce? Buffalo sauce. Like if we went and drizzled some sauce on top. Okay, my ratings. This is I'm not really, trying. This is this really one. good though. Mm -hmm. But I just how, how much is how much is this? This was twenty bucks. How much is this thing? This like if you just got this. I don't know. So twenty divided by three, seven bucks. No. Three bucks. It's just rice. No, three dollars per ball. No. Mm hmm It's just rice. Babe, we're, it, we're not going to Air One because it's. Are you gonna try this? No. That's how. But you have. But we're not going to Air One to save money. We're going to try the food that people are obsessed with. I know, but I, what I'm saying is, part of it has to be the cost of the food. But take the cost but, of the food out of it. What do you? Then this is a dollar. Then yeah, I love it. It's great. Half of the draw to it is that it's twenty dollars. Yeah. Nobody would buy this if it was three bucks. Why? Because I think it was gross and that it wasn't made of like fresh shit. No. Yeah, I think the rice balls are like a seven. The the um, buffalo cauliflower is like a 8.5 for me. The mac and cheese is like a two. And I am not going to try that because I don't, I, I can't guys. All right guys, that is the end of this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Yeah, this just has like, it's just not good.